So in this video, I'll be showing you how to switch over from Skype into Microsoft Teams. You already have a Skype, which perfectly works fine. But since Skype will be shutting down very soon, first you go to the Microsoft website and you download Teams. If you're using Windows or Mac, you simply choose the download button and you to download based on your OS. You can see that we already have Teams downloaded. Then we'll set it up using the installer. Follow the process. You put your password or give administrator privileges if you're using Windows. Give it permission. And once it has permission, you can sign in. You can use your Outlook email or any email that you already have, or you can sign into a new email. When you're signing into your email, you have to include your Microsoft email. And also you include your Microsoft email's password. Then sign in. Once you sign in, then Teams will be automatically set up for you. You will see your profile and continue through the steps. And now, as you can see that you may not see the contact already on your account. So that's because you need to take advantage of the Teams Insider program. When you click on it, you're getting access to updates before everyone. Then you say join, then you can restart Teams. And once it restarts, get the option of seeing that Skype and Teams are now joined together. The Teams Insider program gives you first access to any updates that's made by Microsoft. So you choose your Skype account, then you include your name and ensure that all the information is correct coming from Skype. And you wait for a little while for your contacts and your messages to sync and voila, you have all your contacts coming from Skype right into Teams. And as you can see, you could try to send a message on Teams, and the person will receive it, and it will also come up on Skype. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.